First, new pandemic rules are coming to Rhode Island on Monday. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Kim Kalunian. Masking up indoors or providing proof of vaccination will be required for most indoor establishments. Large venues with capacity over 250 people will be required to mask indoors regardless of vaccination status. Smaller venues can implement masks indoors or proof of vaccination. It all comes down to addressing the rise in COVID-19 cases in hopes of alleviating pressure on the state's hospital systems. We have team coverage of the announcement tonight. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo is standing by with reaction from the Small Business Association. But first, Alexandra Leslie joins us now live outside the State House. And Alex, the new measures are just temporary. Yeah, when these new measures go into effect on Monday, the governor says they will stay in effect for at least 30 days. Now, changes are also being made to improve access to vaccines and testing, and the governor has also requested help from the federal government to help Rhode Island's hospitals keep up. But we have to react to what's in front of us. Governor Dan McKee says that's rising COVID-19 infection rates and a new COVID variant. A second case of the Omicron variant was just detected in Rhode Island. The health department only sequences a sample of total positive cases per week. One thing that we know now about Omicron is that it makes booster doses a necessity. Health Department Director Dr. Nicole Alexander-Scott says early data shows protection against Omicron occurs significantly better, almost double, when someone is fully vaccinated with a booster. If you're just fully vaccinated, early data shows vaccine effectiveness may be 35%. That's with having the two doses or the one against Omicron. If you're fully vaccinated with a booster, Early data shows that the vaccine is to 75% effective against Omicron. Alexander Scott says there's an ample vaccine supply and the state is working to open as many vaccine sites as possible. However, she says while vaccination is critical, it's not the only way Rhode Island will get through this stage of the pandemic. We are going to have to layer the first key, which is vaccination, with all of the other mitigation tools that we have especially masking. Now the state will also distribute 100,000 at-home rapid tests throughout the state in the next few weeks. The governor also said, though, he's requested an additional 1 million at-home tests from FEMA, and he's also requested that the agency provide emergency staffing inside hospitals. Live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. First tonight, the health department confirms they've identified a second case of Omicron in Rhode Island. I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Kim Kalunian. The health department says they expected this and there will likely be more. But right now, it's the Delta variant that's driving cases up. We had another day of over 1,100 cases. Unfortunately, another five people have died. And the number of people in the hospital went up to 280. Now, with the Omicron variant expected to spread, the health department says boosters are necessary for everyone who's eligible. This afternoon, Governor Dan McKee announced most indoor places will have to require either masks or proof of vaccination starting next week. The governor also announced measures to expand testing and get help to the state's short-staffed hospitals. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie begins our team coverage live in Providence. Alex? Well, Shannon, after being asked for weeks about re-implementing an indoor mask mandate of some kind, Governor Dan McKee says the time to act is now and that all of Rhode Island's hospitals are at a breaking point. There's pressure right now on our hospitals and the healthcare industry. There's pressure that could cause more pressure on our economy and also, as a result, pressure on our schools. Governor Dan McKee says because of this, he's enacting temporary measures to take new action against rising COVID-19 cases during the holidays. Category one, indoor venues, including retail, entertainment venues, venues of assembly and restaurants, with a capacity of over 250 people. Inside these settings, masking will be required for employees and patrons, regardless of vaccination status. Smaller venues with capacity under 250, plus all office-based businesses, manufacturers, and other public or private employers with indoor operations will also be subject to either masks indoors or proof of vaccination. We want to let people know that business is going to continue. Uh, and that we encourage people to frequent our local businesses 
but be safe about it. The governor said the temporary measures will go into effect on Monday and be reevaluated in 30 days. McKee also said the state's taking action to strengthen the state's COVID-19 testing strategy. I'm announcing that the state will distribute 100,000 at-home rapid COVID-19 tests over the next two weeks. Using these tests, Rhode Island will be able to test approximately 10% of its population over the next two weeks. Now, the governor also requested an additional million at home rapid tests from FEMA, which he says will allow us to test all of Rhode Island's 39 cities and towns. He's also requesting that FEMA send medical personnel for emergency staffing inside of hospitals. Live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.